Hello, food lovers. Welcome back to our channel, your ultimate guide to food, travel, and culture. Here, we take you on a global gastronomic journey, revealing the best places to eat, sleep, and see. Today, we're diving into the heart of Vietnamese cuisine, which is as diverse as it is delicious. We'll be your compass, navigating you through the bustling streets of San Jose, California, a city that's home to a vibrant Vietnamese food scene. From the comforting warmth of pho to the delicate flavors of bang quon, the spicy kick of bun bo hue, the crispy delight of ban xiu, and the unique taste of cha ca, we've got it all covered. In this video, we'll be showcasing the top 10 Vietnamese restaurants in San Jose, each offering a unique culinary experience that will leave your taste buds tingling for more. Today, we embark on a mouth-watering adventure through the bustling streets of San Jose, exploring its rich and diverse Vietnamese food scene. First, we'll look at eating the Vietnamese iconic pho at Pu Kim Long. Then we'll take you to Ban Quan Tai Ho to have paper-thin steamed rice rolls with mouth-watering pork and wood ear mushroom filling. After you're satisfied with Ban Quan, we'll take you to Vietnam Central Region Cuisine at Bun Bo Hue An Nam. They are famous for Bun Bo Hue, or spicy beef noodle soup. The perfect spice with thick noodles emerged in broth that has been simmered for over 12 hours with pork and beef bones. Then we'll take you for a taste of crispy Vietnamese pancake called Ban Xiu from Ban Xiu Eng Gon and many more. So sit back and let your taste buds enjoy the San Jose Vietnamese cuisines. Our culinary journey begins at Phu Kim Long, a haven for fur lovers. Nestled in the heart of San Jose, this bustling spot has become a culinary institution drawing in locals and tourists alike with its authentic Vietnamese flavors. Each bowl of pho tells a story, a story of tradition, of home, and of the love poured into each simmering pot. Phu Kim Long's popularity isn't surprising. The secret lies in its broth, a labor of love that takes hours to perfect. The result is a clear, aromatic elixir, brimming with notes of star anise, clove, and cinnamon. It's the kind of broth that warms you from the inside out, a comforting embrace in a bowl. They are known for their pho, but patrons enjoy bun rio or crab noodle soup. Bun bo hue or spicy beef noodle soup is also among the popular items. A bowl of pho is around $14, while bun cha is around $16. Pho Kim Long truly sets the bar high for Vietnamese cuisine in San Jose. A visit here isn't just a meal, it's an experience, a journey into the heart of Vietnam's rich culinary heritage. Next stop, Ban Quan Tay Ho, a gem in the heart of San Jose known for its Ban Quan. Delve into the world of Ban Quan Tai Ho, where the culinary artistry of Vietnam comes alive in every dish. The piece de resistance here is, of course, the Ban Quan, a delicate delight that dances on the palate with its unique blend of textures and flavors. Imagine a dish that's as fine as silk, yet packed with an explosion of taste. That's Ban Quan for you. These steamed rice rolls are a marvel to behold thin as gossamer yet sturdy enough to hold a filling that's nothing short of a flavor carnival. Now, let's talk about that filling. Ground pork, seasoned just right, and wood ear mushrooms come together in a symphony of taste that's both earthy and savory. Each bite is a revelation, an experience that takes you on a gastronomic journey right to the heart of Vietnam. But what sets Tay Ho's Bang Quan apart is the sheer skill that goes into creating these culinary masterpieces. The rice rolls are steamed to perfection, the filling is generous without being overwhelming, and the flavors are balanced to a tea. It's a testament to the dedication and passion the team at Tay Ho pours into every dish. The cost of Ban Kuan is around $17. Ban Beo is around $13. A visit to Tai Ho is a must for any Ban Kuan enthusiast. So when are you planning your trip? Before we continue our culinary journey, Take a moment to subscribe, like, and share our video. Now we all know that the world of food is vast and endlessly delicious, and we're here to help you navigate it. By subscribing, you're not just supporting us, but you're also making sure you don't miss out on any foodie adventures. Imagine missing out on the next big Vietnamese delicacy we uncover. That's a foodie faux pas you don't want to commit. So go ahead, hit that subscribe button Give this video a thumbs up and share it with your fellow food lovers. And don't forget to click on the bell icon. It's your personal alert for when we upload a new video. It's like a dinner bell, but for your foodie content. With your support, we can continue to explore and share the best food and travel experiences. 
So let's keep the adventure going, shall we? We're back on the food trail, heading to Bun Bo Hue An Nam, a hotspot for Bun Bo Hue. Nestled in the heart of San Jose, this bustling eatery specializes in one dish and one dish only, the glorious Bun Bo Hue. Now, if you're wondering what this dish is all about, let me paint you a picture. Bun Bo Hue is a spicy and aromatic beef noodle soup that hails from the city of Hue in central Vietnam. This delectable soup is a symphony of flavors and textures that come together to create a culinary masterpiece. At Bun Bo Hue and Nam, they've mastered the art of making this dish. The broth is simmered for hours, infusing it with the rich flavors of beef and pork bones, lemongrass, and a medley of spices. The result? A deeply satisfying soup that's both spicy and tangy with a hint of sweetness. But the broth is just the beginning. The dish is then loaded with thick rice noodles, tender slices of beef and pork, and topped off with fresh herbs and lime. A spoonful of this dish, and you'll understand why it's a beloved staple in Vietnamese cuisine. And let's not forget the textures. The silky noodles, the tender meat, the crisp herbs and the fiery broth all come together to create a dish that's as delightful to eat as it is to look at. The price is pretty reasonable with around $15 a bowl. For a true taste of central Vietnam, Bun Bo Hue An Nam is the place to be. Moving on, we find ourselves at Ban Sio Ng Gon, a restaurant that's mastered the art of Ban Sio. Yes, you guessed it, Ban Sio is the star of our show here. This Vietnamese pancake golden, crispy, and oh-so-savory, is a dish that simply cannot be overlooked. Made from rice flour, turmeric powder, and water, the batter is poured onto a hot pan, creating a thin, crispy layer that's nothing short of delightful. But what's a pancake without its fillings? At Ban Sio and Gon, they've got this down to a science. Freshly caught shrimp and pork belly are sautéed to perfection, then enveloped in the crispy pancake along with a generous amount of bean sprouts and onions. The result? A symphony of flavors and textures that dance on your palate with every bite. Eating Ban Sio is an experience in itself. Served with a side of fresh lettuce and herbs, you take a piece of the pancake, wrap it in the lettuce, add a sprig of mint or basil, and dip it in the tangy fish sauce. It's a wonderful combination of hot and cold, crunchy and soft, savory and fresh, that's nothing short of a gastronomic adventure. If you are planning to go here, their most peak time is around 12 p.m. to 3 p.m. Their Ban Zio is around $16. A trip to San Jose isn't complete without a visit to Ban Zio and Gun. So when you're in town, make sure to stop by and savor the art of Ban Zio, a dish that's as enjoyable to eat as it is to say. Our next stop for today is Tien Long, renowned for its succulent cha ka. If there's one dish that's a testament to the vibrancy of Vietnamese cuisine, it's cha ka. This dish isn't just food, it's an experience. Imagine flaky white fish marinated in a flavorful blend of turmeric and dill, then grilled to perfection. The result is a meal that's as rich in color as it is in taste. At Tien Long, they've mastered the art of cha ka. Their version of this classic dish is an unforgettable mix of savory, sweet, and aromatic flavors. Each bite of the beautifully grilled fish is a burst of taste sensation, made even more delightful with the fragrance of dill and the subtle hint of turmeric. It's a dish that's as much a feast for the eyes as it is for the palate. It is grilled fish with dill, onion, peanuts, and served with thin noodle and vegetables. The dish is placed above a fire pit to stay hot. You also have the option of getting the rice paper, ban trong, to eat with the fish. It's a quite big dish and serves two people or three people if you order another dish for the table. This cash-only Vietnamese strip mall spot has been serving San Jose since 2006. It is most busy during dinner time between 6 and 8 p.m. Cha Ka is around $32, while most other dishes are around $16. Boba drink is around $5, so expect to pay around $20 per person. Our next stop for today is Tofu Kerm Chai Ai, renowned for its vegetarian dishes. The vegan and vegetarian restaurant Tofu Kerm Charai is a popular spot in downtown San Jose. The restaurant serves up a large menu of Vietnamese dishes made with only fresh and high quality ingredients. Meat lovers will be fooled to think that the beef noodle soup they ate was actually a vegetarian rendition. This place is a must try for vegans and vegetarians. It's a hole in the wall, but served excellent healthy food. 
the name Kerm Che, translated into fasting food. Some will incorrectly call it vegetarian food, but Kerm Che is a form of fasting by Buddhist monks and its dedicated followers. This practice is very strict and going beyond vegetarians and is more like vegans. Everything must be plant-based and no animal products including cheese or milk. There are many tasty options at Tofu Kerm Che. The pho or beef noodles and bun bo hue or spicy noodle soup are the must try. They are priced at around $13. Our next stop for today is Ban Mi Oven, renowned for its Vietnamese crispy sandwiches. Ban Mi Oven has three locations. This video will focus on the one on Story Road. According to TripAdvisor, Ban Mi Oven is ranked number 28 out of 94 fast food in San Jose. However, DoorDash patrons gave Ban Mi Oven 4.7 out of 5 stars. One customer, Janet G, said, this is by far the best Vietnamese sandwich and coffee I've ever had. Spring rolls were also excellent. Thank you, Ban Mi Oven. The consensus among their customers is the Vietnamese iced mile coffee is the best. Aside from Ban Mi, you should also try their pate show and spring roll. Don't forget to try flan for dessert. The sandwich is around $4.16 and Vietnamese coffee is around $5.20. Our next stop for today is Kerm Tam Than, renowned for its Kerm Tam. If you haven't had Vietnamese broken rice or Kerm Tam in Vietnamese before, it is one of the most iconic Vietnamese foods. Kerm means cooked rice, whereas Tam means broken rice grains. As the name suggests, broken rice is rice that has been broken or fractured during the milling process. Broken grains are separated from whole grains and sold as broken rice. Except for the fact that the grains are fragmented rather than whole, there is nothing wrong with broken rice. This dish used to be for the common people because the broken was sold at a cheaper price. Now day, it's a delicacy that is loved by many. Typically, a Vietnamese broken rice plate is served with grilled meat, egg meatloaf or sunny side up egg, tomato, lettuce and cucumber salad, carrot and radish pickles, and a generous amount of fish sauce. If you like to try this iconic Vietnamese cuisine, you should visit Kerm Tam Than. It's a pleasant experience to try perfectly cooked fried prawns, BBQ pork and Com Tam. This place is also famous for great iced coffee, iced tea or Vietnamese coffee. Kerm Tam or broken rice dish is around $10. Ka Pe Soa Da or Vietnamese iced coffee is around $3. Our next stop for today is Phu E No. 1, renowned for its pho. Phu E No. 1 started in 1997 as the brainchild of two brothers who immigrated from Vietnam. Unlike many other first spots in the area, Furi No. 1 has always had a rather modest menu that focuses just on fur and doing it right. The special combo fur clearly doesn't skimp out on its various cuts of beef, including steak, well-done flank, brisket, soft tendon, and meatballs. This mix of cuts creates a complex, vibrant flavor in a broth that also bears a slightly sweet undertone. And because they run a lean operation, you can count on swift service. Furry number one is rated 4.3 stars out of five from patrons on Google. One customer comment on Google as, quality fur, fast service, and large portions for a great price. The price for special combo is $16.45, and bowl of fur thai, or rare beef noodle, is $14.95. Our final stop for today is Huey Restaurant renowned for its specialty in Central Vietnam cuisine. Many patrons from Hue or Central Vietnam enjoy the authentic Central Vietnam cuisine here. The Ban Bao and Ban Bot Lok are must try. Don't forget to try Kurm Hen, clam with rice, or Bun Hen, clam with noodles. Those are the authentic Hue along with Ban Bo Hue. If you are planning to go here during lunch, expect to wait around 15 minutes. This place is always packed around lunchtime. Price for Bun Bo Hue is around $15, Ban Bot Lok is around $6. And so, with the delightful taste of Central Vietnam still lingering on our tongues, we find ourselves at the end of our flavorful adventure. Hue Restaurant provides the perfect ending to our Vietnamese culinary journey. What a journey it's been, exploring the Vietnamese food scene in San Jose. We've savored the rich, flavorful broth of pho at Phu Kim Long, indulged in the delicate and satisfying Ban Quan at Ban Quan Tai Ho. Experience the spicy and robust Bun Bo Hue at Bun Bo Hue An Nam. Enjoyed the crispy and delightful Ban Sio at Ban Sio Ngon 
the unique and memorable Cha Ka at Tien Long, and finally Hue Restaurant with a taste of Central Vietnam cuisine. Each of these restaurants, with their own distinct charm and authenticity, has given us a taste of the rich and diverse Vietnamese cuisine available right here in San Jose. From the classic pho to the flavorful bun bo hue, the delicate ban quan to the crispy ban siu, and not forgetting the unique cha ka, we've sampled a variety of dishes that have left us with a deeper appreciation for Vietnamese food. Through this journey, we've discovered that San Jose is indeed a haven for Vietnamese cuisine lovers. Whether you're a local or a visitor, there's always something new and exciting to try, a dish that will surprise you, a flavor that will entice you, and a restaurant that will welcome you with open arms. So here's to the delicious dishes, the wonderful restaurants, and the beautiful culture of Vietnam that we've had the privilege to experience. Thank you for joining us on this culinary adventure. Stay tuned for more food and travel experiences. Until next time, happy eating.